Your presence has been detected and recorded. Thank you. takes us six hours to get to another state. Yep. Right. So we, we did a super group. Yeah, but we have a very close uh, communication between that white spectrum. So, so it's, it's not it's got a good uh, network. Awesome. Fair to describe you guys as pro Trump? I would say some of the, I, is it? I would say like, you would probably think the majority, but not all of us. Not all of us. Pro-America. Yes. Pro America is bad. Absolutely. American. Pro Constitution, things like that. Yes. Right. And I, I'd like to clarify too, of course, like the Make America Great Again uh, thing, which obviously Trump started. Mm -hmm. 
it's something that's now separate from him. It's kind of a thing. So, you know, I always tell people, it's like, yeah, I support Trump now, but if we were to, you know, go in the opposite direction, I would let go of him. But we would continue on with the, the Make America Great Again. That's, we've kind of taken that and ran it. I didn't ask you first, so I didn't record, but would you say that on tape for me? Sure. Completely up to you if you want to give me your name or not. Uh, my name is uh, Mark, and uh, no, basically what I was saying is that um, even though I, I still support Trump now and I love many of the things that he has done, um, the Make America Great Again uh, thing, that you could call it that, we call it the MAGA, MAGA movement, um, if, if Trump were to walk the opposite direction, um, you know, I would let go of him, but we would still continue on with the MAGA movement. We still would, uh, would, would keep that movement alive ourselves. So it's kind of, it's taken a life of its own. How would you describe the Proud Boys movement? Uh, the Proud Boys movement is, uh, you could kind of call it a new, a new conservative movement. A lot of the, uh, the culture of the, the old GOP, um, old generation Republican standard, um, because the culture had changed. And, and, and you know politics have, have heightened on either side. We felt that there was a necessity to uh, to truly kind of stand up for ourselves. Because the way that we saw it, especially in you know places like Seattle, places like Portland, up and around uh, down the West Coast, where you have these strongholds of liberal ideologies. For a long time, conservatives kind of uh, stayed to themselves, uh, didn't really speak up much, were able to live their lives. But over time, especially in the last like three or four or five years, we see that the that liberal it's quite the impressive um, turnout, Nazis. liberal ideology wow, look at all these people. Uh, <laughs> so much encroaching hate. on the lives so that we were in this city. that we were trying to. Uh, to I'm sorry, I got distracted. By right. it. Uh, I'm not sorry. Okay. But uh, anyways, encroaching on our, our personal lives and education and social structures and stuff like that. So what, what the Proud Boys come from, as we see it, was a, a need to stand up for ourselves and to need to stand up for those traditional patriotic constitutional ideals that, that we believe are important, that are very much looked down upon by so many people in, in this country, but we're like, actually, no, these are the things that, that, that keep us safe. Like what? Like uh, traditional family values, like traditional family structures, like uh, entrepreneurship, working hard, like actually admitting the fact that no matter what color you are, you can, if you work hard, in this system that we still have here, make a life for yourself, make money, support a family. Uh, we support having children. We support staying with your mates. We support uh, respecting your mates. We, we call it uh, venerating the, the housewife. Um, which, you know, a lot of, you know, in a lot of liberal mentalities, it's kind of seen as like, well, being, being a housewife is this, um, you know, I would look down upon because the woman is subjecting herself to the man. But we don't see it as that. We see it as like, no, 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 we, we love and protect that structure because she's the one that gives these children the best opportunity in that structure to thrive, to be loved, to survive. If she choose, you know, if she chooses to work and do stuff like that, we don't, you know, it's not like it's a controlling thing, but the point is that we want to be like, no, that thing is important if you choose to do so, and we want to put the importance back on it. And that, are you, you anti-LGBTQ? Absolutely not. No, no, the Proud Boys are pro-LGBTQ. We have uh, gay Proud Boys. We have lesbian, well, obviously not lesbian, but we have gay Proud Boys. Um, we're we're pro-LGBTQ. Absolutely. That guy just called you a Nazi. Yeah. Are you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, but we we have that thrown on us all the time. I don't necessarily know exactly how the Nazi thing started, but it started early on. Uh, it comes from this thing, thing like seeing that we're white supremacists that I think is connected to the whole idea that you know a lot of people believe that America was founded on white supremacist ideals and stuff like that. So I think they kind of took that and put it on us, and all of a sudden we're now Nazis. But I always tell people. Like look around, we, we're not all white. We have, we're, we're multicultural, um, and we, we accept it. It's, it's, about, it's about freedom of the mind. It's about freedom of the mind.